Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get to that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for the growth of my channel. Thank you for the wonderful comments and all the things that you say about me in the comments. I really am humbled by it and I deeply appreciate it. So thank you very much. I just have a handful of items for today's news. The first one is titled, New York City Democrat asks, where are the men doing something about savage attacks on women? <clears throat> in this article, you learn that the activists in New York have managed to not defund, but reduce the funding for police to the point where it's gotten really critical. And then on top of that in New York, they're releasing people on their own recognizance without bail, even for violent crimes. And so what started happening recently is women are just walking down the sidewalk, minding their own business, and all of a sudden somebody sucker punches them. And so these women are going, hey, where are the men to save us? <laughs> well, there was a 24-year-old Marine who intervened on a subway when a homeless man who was acting crazy and threatening to kill people and had gotten everybody on the train to move to one corner to get away from him. The 24-year-old man put him in a chokehold and got him under control. But unfortunately, the homeless man died. And of course, he was from the wrong race, so we can't have that. So they demanded justice, and now that 24-year-old Marine is on trial for murder. It was self-defense, and in Texas, we'd be applauding him. But in New York, they're trying him. So then the women are going, hey, we're getting sucker punched on the sidewalk. Why aren't the men coming to save us? Well, I think this answer is self-evident, isn't it? The men are not going to come to save you when you take them to trial and accuse them of being murderers. The second thing I have for you today is a uh, Tucker Carlson episode, and uh, this one is this one is really interesting. And, and I'm gonna rather than me explain it to you, I'm gonna have Tucker explain it to you because his explanation is really interesting. This fall, during hunting season, I was getting a slice of pizza at a general store in a small town in the mountains of western Maine. And I was standing in line, and I ran into a guy I know, a guy I like a lot, called Esau Cooper, who was a local excavator. And he said, I've been watching you, interviewing all these people. Why don't you interview me? Well, i got interesting stuff to say. And I thought, you know, I bet he does. Esau Cooper is an interesting person. Esau Cooper is not only good upstanding citizen of his town to remain unnamed uh, in the Western Maine mountains, but he's also the local lawnmower racing champ. Every year, this town in August has a lawnmower race and Esau Cooper often wins it, sometimes at great personal risk. Here's a video of it. Esau is the one in the green John Deere that runs into the camera. You, you can't get more American than that, can you? I mean, <laughs> motorcycle racing. Oh, boy. It's an interesting interview, and and if you have a few minutes, I recommend you, you will watch it. Um, I've often thought in the past when I've seen people being interviewed on TV, why don't you ask me my opinion? Why don't you interview me? I'm just a regular guy. But I guarantee you my opinions are not the same as all these talking heads on TV. So Esau managed to have his day in the sun. And uh, it was an interesting interview. He's been through a lot, that's for sure. This next article <clears throat> is one that I highlighted some portions in because I thought you would want to know about it. It says, Democrats are throwing money at illegal migrants while destroying America. And what it's talking about is what's going on in New York. You know that uh, 
Florida and Texas have been shipping migrants to New York because they claim to be a sanctuary city. And they've gone out of their way to welcome these migrants. But now they're running into problems. And the, the highlighted section starts out with Adams, which is the name of the mayor of New York City. Adams didn't stop there. Every community in this city is going to be impacted. We have a $12 billion deficit that we're going to have to cut. Every service in this city is going to be impacted. All of us. All of that is true. And the $12 billion also happens to be the amount that city officials say the migrants will cost the city in just over three years. Can you not see the cause and effect, Mayor Adams? Despite some catastrophic warnings, what have the New York Democrats done in the last six months? They decided to work on distributing prepaid debit cards to hundreds of illegal immigrants already enjoying free hotel rooms in New York City. The distribution of the prepaid cards to 500 migrant families is just the pilot for a $53 million program which they intend to expand. I guess that's that $12 billion deficit that was going to kill the city needed a little booster shot. And yes, Mayor Adams, the migrant crisis won't have an ending when you keep creating incentives for people to come. And then I highlighted this other portion here. Many simply wish that politicians, when spending our tax dollars, would have the same empathy for American citizens as they do for illegal immigrants. But for some reason, that's not the case with the Democrats. For perspective, Brian Lianis at Fox News reported the 53 million prepaid card scheme is more than twice what New York State plans on spending. New York State, not just the city, the entire state, spending in 2025 for the Department of Veteran Services, the Office of National and Community Service, the, D the Division of Human Rights, and the Cancer Services Program. Nothing like getting your priorities straight, huh, Democrats? <clears throat> and then the last item that I have is a two-hour, what I would call a podcast, titled Bullying, Cowardice, and Careerism Behind BBC Disinformation on Gender. I thought this would be an interesting to throw in for my English colleagues or, or viewers. They might be interested in hearing about it, but it is two hours, so you're going to have to set aside some time for it. So that's the news for the day. I want to thank you for coming to my channel, and I want you to know that I pray for you every day. I pray that you will live an abundant life, that you will be healthy, and that you'll live a long time, and that God will keep you safe from harm. And I also pray that you'll be anxious for nothing. But, oh, I almost forgot. I pray for all the people that you love, too. And I pray that you be anxious for nothing. But in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you'll make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.